Hello guys! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, pag-uusapan natin ang application of the equation of the line. So, sa last video natin, idiniscuss ko kung paano ba natin kuhain ang kuhain ko. Kuhanin ang equation of the line. This time, application na tayo. Medyo similar din, pero kung mapapansin nyo, dito sa ating given, in sentence sa form siya. Kasi baka mamaya hindi nyo alam ang gagawin pag nakita nyo nang nasa sentence na siya. So, ituturo ko siya ngayon. Pero, bago natin simulan yan, siguraduhin mo nang ngayon pa lang ay pindutin na ang like button. Okay na? Pati ang subscribe button kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe. At ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na? Okay! Thank you! So, simulan na natin. So, ngayon, ang task ninyo is to find the equation of the line. So, meron kayong dalawang kailangan ulit na ibigay na sagot. Isang slope intercept form, which is y is equal to mx plus b, at isang standard form, which is ax plus by equals c. So, dalawa ulit ang isosolve nating answer. Okay, so let's start. Number one, the slope is a 4 passing through negative 1, 4. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo, ang given natin ay slope and a point. Okay, so ang slope natin, letter M siya, diba, is equal to 4. And ang point natin, sulat ko lang yung mga given natin, ay negative 1 and 4. Since a slope and point yan, ang gagamitin natin ay point slope form. At ano ba ang formula ng point slope of form? We have, natatandaan nyo, y minus y sub 1 is equal to m multiplied by x minus x sub 1. Okay, tandaan itong formula na to ha. Ito ang ginagamit pag binigyan kayo ng point, ng point at ng slope. Ngayon, paano natin malalaman? Kung ano-ano yung mga values ng x sub 1 natin at y sub 1 natin, ito yun. So, ito yung x sub 1 at ito ang y sub 1, x and then y. Kasi isa lang naman yung point natin. Okay, now let's plug in the given. So, since wala, ta Sorry, since wala tayong value ni y, copy lang siya y minus y sub 1 is a 4 equals to your m is a 4. Multiplied by x, wala tayong value ni x, minus negative 1. Okay, nakita nyo ulit ito, negative tas negative. Kaya magiging, ano na siya, positive. So, kopyahin lang muna natin siya. Y minus 4 is equal to 4. And then, x plus 1. Okay, and then, ang susunod dyan is we distribute. So, you will have here y minus 4 equals to 4 times x is a 4x. And then, 4 times 1, you have 4. So, positive 4. And then, ang kailangan natin una, yung slope-intercept form, y is equal to mx plus b. So, sino dapat ang wala dito? Etong si negative 4. Ililipat ko siya doon. So, magiging y is equal to 4x. Plus 4, kinopya ko lang to. Tapos ito, negative, magiging positive, plus 4. So, what is now 4x plus 4? Ano, 4x plus 4 plus 4? Sorry, wait lang, enter ko lang to ha. Okay, so bumaba ang isang plus. Oh, plus na ito ha, bumaba lang. So, magiging y is equal to 4x plus 4 plus 4, 8. O, oh, ayan na. Ayan na yung una natin given. O, oh, andali. O, oh, kailangan natin yung letter B. So, this is letter A. Letter B is AX plus BY equals C. So, kailangan magasama si X and Y. Since nag-iisa lang si Y dito, kailangan kong ilipat itong si X. Kaya, magiging positive siya. Magiging negative 4X plus Y equals 8. 
Pero dahil negative ito, gawin muna natin siyang positive multiplied by negative 1. Multiplied na naman. Multiply by negative 1. So, multiply natin by negative 1. Negative times negative. Positive 4x. Negative 1 times positive y is negative y is equal to negative 1 times 8 is negative 8. So, you have the standard form na 4x minus minus 1 equals negative 8. So, this is your letter B. Okay, ganun lang yun, ha? Okay, for number 2, the line passes through point 4, negative 5, and negative 3, 3. So, meron kang dalawang points. Isang 4, negative 5, at isang 3, or negative 3, 3. Negative, oh. Okay, so dahil point yan, point and point, ang gagamitin mo ay 2-point form. Okay, at ang formula for 2-point form is y minus y sub 1 is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 multiplied by x minus x sub 1. So, dapat alam yung formula na yan, nandiyan yan yung sa module nyo. Okay, so isulat ko lang dito yung given ha para mas madali. 4, tapos, ano yun? Negative 5, sorry. Para mabilis natin ma-plug in ang given. Negative 3 and then 3. Okay, so yung unang point, yan si x sub 1, y sub 1. Eto naman, si x sub 2, y sub 2. Okay, then ilagay na natin siya dito sa ating formula. Okay, so magiging y minus, ang y sub 1 mo ay negative 5. Equals to y sub 2, ang y sub 2 mo ay 3. Minus, ano ang y sub 1 mo? Negative 5. So may parenthesis pa rin kasi dalawa yung negative 5 mo. Ah, dalawa yung negative mo. Okay, and then over x sub 2, ano ang x sub 2 mo? Etong negative 3. Minus x sub 1 mo is 4. Okay, multiplied by yung x wala tayong value dyan. Minus your x sub 1 which is 4. So, tingnan lang maigi sa pagpa-plug in ng ating mga given. Or pagsa-substitute ng ating mga given. Okay, so since kanina sinabi ko yung technique, pag negative, negative, positive na siya. So, y plus a 5 is equal to 3... Negative, negative, so positive na siya, 3 plus a 5 over negative 3 minus 4 times x minus 4. Okay, so we will have here y plus a 5 is equal to 3 plus 5. Correct, we have 8. Okay, what is now negative 3 minus 4? We have there KCC. Keep change, change. Negative 3 plus negative 4 is negative 7. Okay, and then x minus 4. Okay, so okay, para mawala itong denominator natin na negative 7, kasi diba fraction ito, kailangan i-multiply natin both sides by negative 7 para makakancel lang siya. Okay, so negative 7 times y is negative 7y. Negative 7 times positive y is negative 35 equals to negative 7 times 8 divided by negative 7. Makakancel lang siya. So, ang matitira na lang dito ay 8. Ha? Pero, pwede nyo rin gawing naman na negative 7 times 8 is negative 56. Negative 56 divided by negative 7 is 8. Chinort cut ka lang siya. Ha? Kasi makakancel lang naman siya dyan. And then, this one multiplied by this one. So, negative 7 times x is negative 7x. And then, negative 7 times negative 4 is positive 28. Okay. So, ayan na. Pwede na natin ngayon i-distribute si 8 kasi wala na tayong denominator. So, distribute ito, distribute ito doon. So, ito ay copy lang siya, negative 7y minus 35 is equal to 8 times negative 7 is how many? Negative 56. 
So, negative 56x. Okay? And then, 8 times 28. Sige nga, isolve ninyo. What is 8 times 28? Correct. That is positive 224. Okay, now, kailangan na natin ito, oh, para maging slope-intercept form, kailangan, di ba, y is equal to mx plus b. Pero dahil nandito pa to ilipat lang natin siya dito. So, magiging negative 7y is equal to negative 56x plus 224 plus 35. Okay, what, what is positive or... Tama, positive 224 plus 35. Ilan yon? I-add ninyo nga. That's 200. O, oh, kopyahin ko lang to. Negative 56x plus 200. 2 plus 3 is 5. And then 4 plus 5 is 9. Okay, that's 259. Okay, enter ko lang itong number 3 natin. Oops, wait. Sorry. Okay, so ano nang gagawin natin? Kailangan natin mawala si negative 7 dito. So, we have to divide it by negative 7, negative 7, negative 7. Sorry, negative 7. Wait nga. Wait. Okay, so the answer will be y is equal to negative 56 divided by 7 is positive 8x. Okay, positive divided by negative is negative. What is 259 divided by 7? Divisible ba sila? Huh? 259 divided by 7 is how many? Sige, isolve nyo. 37. So, divisible sila. So, this will be now your answer for letter A. Yan pa lang yung una. Pero, kailangan natin yung standard form. Ano ulit yun? AX plus BY equals C. So, mag-isa dito si Y, ilipat natin si X. So, magiging, pag nilipat natin to Y is equal to 8X minus 37. Ilipat ko dito, magiging negative 8X plus y equals to negative 37. But we make a positive by multiplying it with negative 1. So, this will become positive 8x. Negative times positive is negative y is equal to negative 1 times negative 37 is positive 37. So, your standard form will be 8x minus y equals 37. Okay. Next, for number 3, the slope is 3 over 5 and the y-intercept is 0, 5. So, given ka ng slope and y-intercept. So, ang slope mo is x is equal to 3 over 5 and yung y-intercept mo is 0, 5. So, 5 siya. Ano ang formula natin sa slope-intercept? Sorry, slope-intercept Form, we have y is equal to mx plus b. So, simply plug in lang yung mga values natin. So, magkakaroon ka ngayon ng y is equal to 3 over 5x. Ito, pinalitan lang natin ng m, ang m natin. Plus yung b mo, 5. So, ito na ngayon yung slope-intercept form mo. Pero, kailangan din natin ang standard form. Ano ang standard form? Sorry, a standard form natin, ax plus by equals c. So, itong x, ililipat natin sa kabila. Being positive, magiging negative 3i. Sorry. Ah, kailangan muna natin tanggalin yung denominator natin. Ha? O, wait lang. So, para makuha or matanggal natin yung denominator, katulad ng ginawa natin kanina dun sa isa nating example, kailangan i-multiply natin siya by ano? Kung ano yung denominator, ano ba yung denominator natin? By 5. Okay? So, with that, both side is imumultiply natin by 5 and then by 5. So, 5 times y, 5y is equal to 3 times 5 is 15 divided by 5 is still 3. Okay? So, o kaya simply i-cancel lang yan, ha? So, yun lang yung shortcut natin. Kasi kaya nga natin siya minumultiply by 5 para mawala ito. So, ang matitira na lang dyan ay 3x plus 5 times 5, 
25. Okay, now kailangan ilipat na natin to kasi dapat magkasama si x and y. So, this is positive magiging negative 3x plus 5y equals 25. Pero kailangan gawin natin siyang positive. Kaya imumultiply natin siya by negative 1, negative 1. So, you will have here negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. So, you will have positive 3x, negative times positive 5y. So, negative 5y is equal to negative 25. Kasi negative times positive is negative. So, ito na yung second answer mo for the standard form. Okay, now, what is now for number 4? So, ang given natin ay mga intercepts, diba? X and Y intercept. Ang A natin or ang X intercept natin ay negative 4 at ang Y intercept natin ay 8. So, ang formula natin pag intercepts ang given ay Y is equal to negative B over A plus B. Ha? O with x dito ha, para diretsyo na siya. So, magiging, ano, sagot dito. So, plug in lang natin, y is equal to negative, what is your b? 8 over, what is your a? Negative 4, x plus, ano yung b mo ulit? 8. Okay, now, o, oh, andali na nito. y is equal to negative 8 divided by negative 4. Okay, that's positive 2x, correct, plus 8. So, ito na yung slope intercept form nyo. Ano ngayon yung standard form mo? ba kailangan mo lang ilipat si x dito. So, magiging negative 2x plus y equals 8. Pero dahil gusto natin positive ang a natin, we multiplied it by negative 1. We multiply it by negative 1. So, you will have here... Positive 2x, negative 1 times y is negative y, is equal to negative 1 times 8 is negative 8. So, this is now the standard form. Okay, kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, please huwag kalimutan pindutin ang subscribe button at ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. I-like, i-share at mag-comment ka dyan ha. Huwag mo naman nang ipagkait kay ma'am ang comment ninyo. At visitahin nyo ang ating page, Love Ma. Math. Thank you for watching. Spread the love of math. Thank you and bye.